hello welcome back to my channel if you're new you're welcome and i hope you stay today i'm bringing to you puff pastry meat pies without wasting time let's just get started to start i'll need to prepare the filling so i'll put a pan on fire and come in with some oil when the oil is hot enough i'll come in with my minced meat I'll add a little bit of my favorite seasoning, a little of curry powder, dark soy sauce, It's time to come in with my vegetables, I've got here some red onions chopped into pieces. I'll also add some sweet pepper and some cabbage. I must say, the vegetables you add is up to you. You can add or subtract anything you want. I'll add some more dark soy sauce and a little bit of salt to taste. So I'll stir fry this on medium fire for about five minutes. I'll keep mixing till everything is cooked very well. So it's been after about five minutes and it is ready. I'll just put off the flame and set it aside for later. I'll get a baking pan and dust it with some flour. I'll need it later. So this is my puff pastry dough that i got from the supermarket i'll just go ahead and cut it into my desirable shapes i'm going for rectangular meat pies so i'll just cut them into rectangular shapes i'll get a piece of the dough then i'll come in with about a tablespoon or two of the filling I'll cover it up with another sheet and with the help of a fork I'll just seal the ends. When I'm done I'll just transfer it into the dusted baking pan. So everything is ready here and it's ready to go into the oven. The oven has been preheated to about 150 degrees Celsius. So I'll bake this for about 30 minutes. So it's been after about 30 minutes and our puff pastry meat pies are ready. I'll just get them out of the pan. And look at this guys I must tell you I love puff pastry pies as compared to the you know regular dough meat pies I mean these are lighter they taste delicious and you can't even stop at one and yeah so this is one of my favorite recipes when it comes to using puff pastry i hope i did help you and i hope you are going to give this a try if you do let me know how it comes out for you if you've not subscribed please don't forget to hit the subscribe button don't forget to share this with family and friends and don't forget to leave me that big five thumbs up until next time i am going to see you again with another nice and interesting one bye